tidal has two main ways of making tidal energy. And these are the two kind of pictures to describe. So this one here is a company that actually make devices in Ireland called Open Hydro. And they're uh, in Loud in Ireland at the moment. If anybody's looking to contact them, just look them up, Open Hydro Loud. Um, but basically, these guys, they made what we call a tidal stream turbine. Now these turbines are put in estuaries or bays, submerged below the water, and then when the water level rises at high tide, it causes the water to move up in one way, and then when it goes down to low tide, it causes the water level to go down. And then this device actually uh, rotates with that up and downward movement. And this actually, this turbine here is actually a turbine design called a wells turbine. And it's a special type of turbine that no matter which way the water flows through it, it will always spin in the same direction. And that's how they get their energy. So when the water goes up, it makes this spin around one way. When the water goes down, it makes it spin around the same way. Okay, and they get electricity then from that, from magnets and coils around the outside, like all other turbines. Okay. Um, and then this other type is actually... Uh, it's called a tidal barrage or tidal basin and basically it's very similar to a dam but what they do is they block off the end of an estuary or a bay with this big thing that looks like a dam and then they have these things called sluice gates and they open up both sluice gates at low tide and they let the water rise up to high tide on the inside and then they close the gates when it gets to high tide. And then they let the outside water fall to low tide again. And then once that gets down to low tide, they'll open up the gates and they'll let all this water start to flow back out to try and equalize on both sides of the wall. And then this water flowing back out here runs a turbine underneath. So it's, it's this big height difference here is what's causing the power. So you can actually work out what the power is when you go to college. Um, it's a formula that just includes this height back here because this tells you how much water is going to run back out um, here and then you just work it out over time. Okay. Um, but that's the tidal basin of barrage. Now tidal basins of barrages are much older design of tidal energy and they're much more developed um, there's this really big one in France called La Rance, which produces energy for about 280,000 people uh, when it's running which is which is a lot or is it no 280,000 houses I think um, which is which is a lot of people okay so um, that's the tidal base in a barrage and um, this energy, it pretty much just uses the rise and fall of the tides. There's not really anything else the tide does, and that's what it uses the energy from. Um, there's two main types of the devices, again, like I said. There's the tidal stream turbines, which is this one here, the one by Open Hydro. Or there's the tidal basin or barrage, which is Laurence in France, okay? Um, now, the advantage to tidal is it's very, very predictable, because we know that the tides come and go every eight hours and a half or so okay so we know exactly when it's going to be and we can work out exact heights for a couple of months in advance you can definitely work it out for six months in advance in most countries up to two years in some countries and you can work out the heights exactly um for the tide okay and then the disadvantage is they have a huge effect on the coastline so these devices are placed really really close to the shore um, usually in front of estuaries and bays, and especially the tidal basin or barrage. If it's placed in front of the estuary or the bay, it's going to increase the high tide behind the barrage. Okay, so that means that anyone who lives behind the barrage that's really, really close to the beach and stuff has to be moved, roads have to be moved back, and everything, and it can cause huge uh, flooding because of this higher tide and also it causes a lower tide because not as much water can get into the bay because it has to go through this barrage um, so you get the fish or other animals that lived in this high to low tide range they have to move so they have to move out of the areas where they normally lived and find other areas to live in um, and sometimes they just leave sometimes there's just no fish there um, because uh, it's created such a change in the environment in this low to high tide region okay so that's the main 
uh, disadvantage to the title is they have an effect on the coast. These tidal stream turbines have a lot less of an effect, but they still do raise the tide because they usually put a few devices in one estuary or bay. They usually put about 14, 15 devices in small estuaries and bays, and then bigger ones they'll put way more um, just to get enough energy to make this worthwhile kind of thing. Um, so, so, but this one, the barrage definitely has more of an effect on the tides than the than the uh, stream turbine. Mm -hmm.